Hey, Craig, uh, I'll start you off just on the – you got another uh, nice play on the opening kickoff. I'm Nick DeZumer. Just uh, how has he been for you this year? And uh, maybe what you like about that? And then maybe what are some things that maybe need to get cleaned up after Sunday? Yeah, I mean, Nick's done a great job for us. Obviously, he's a veteran player who understands the importance of every single rep and special teams. And, you know, the big thing for Nick is he's become a really good leader for us. Um, you know, just getting the guys going, you know, holding them accountable in their play and, and even in our meeting room. Uh, he's just done a really good job. And obviously him going down there and splitting a double team and starting to kick off right and getting a tackle inside of 20, obviously it, it kind of sets the tone for us. So, you know, I thought Nick did a great job. You know, things that we need to improve on, obviously we know we want to try to make all of our kicks. Um, you know, it's just one of those miss hits that Randy ended up having, but I'm sure he'll end up bouncing back. I thought he ended up hitting the ball pretty well um, after that. But, we, you know, we got to continue to still try and make some plays in space. Um, <clears throat> you know, we got to do a better job coaching it up. Um, we got to teach it maybe a little bit differently, but, you know, I think that's one of the big things that we got to improve on a little bit. So hopefully, uh, this bye week we'll, we'll get to that and, uh, improve. Uh, John. Uh, yeah, Craig, you might've been, uh, referencing this, but, uh, you know, I think on one of the early punts that you guys had, I saw, uh, Racy get down there uh, very quickly to cover, but then, you know, got, got bypassed pretty quickly as well. How do you, you know, I'm sure you want guys to get down there quickly, but, you know, what's the the uh, the teaching when they get down there close as to, you know, make sure that that doesn't doesn't happen where they're just, you know, I guess uh, blown by, uh, I guess. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. We call those flybys, you know, um, you know, that's that's the old school one, one handed touch back in, you know, when you're playing recess. But we, we, we obviously don't want that. And uh We'll continue to coach up Racy because Racy does a great job for us at the line of scrimmage, a big, tall, fast guy uh, that gets off single and double press really well. You know, for a rookie, that's one of the best things that Racy does. Uh, when guys try to be physical with him at the line of scrimmage, he's able to out, either out muscle him or just outwork him um, with his speed. So we got to continue to work on him of just slowing his body down when he gets close to the returner. Um, and, and there's some things that, you know, I know Matt Edwards and I will, will continue to work with him uh, in order for him to kind of just take that next step in, in being productive on the punt team and making tackles. Uh, so we'll really try to focus in on that. And that's going to be our main focus for every player. We, we got to try to get good at one thing here uh, during the bye week. And if we can improve on that, that'll help our team. Uh, Paul? So you said Nick set the tone. Then you had an unnecessary roughness on a guy who was called up specifically for special teams and a legal block above the waist in short order and the drive by that you're talking about for Racy. So what was the tone that Nick set and, and how, how do you get a penalty on a guy that's called up specifically for special teams? Yeah, uh, that's obviously not what we're looking for. You know, Nick's, Nick's play obviously just sets the tone for us you know, whether it's on special teams of going down there and making a play uh, and helping out our defense with field position. And obviously, Jordan would love to have that play back um, where, you know, a guy who hasn't played for a while, who got caught up from a practice squad, you know, when we talked to him beforehand, we're like, hey, listen, we don't need you to do anything special. We just need you to go out there and play the best that you can. And it's a guy that just got amped up too much and, uh, you know, just – Coach Rabel talks about all the time of not doing stuff to hurt the team. And uh, obviously we do not want 15 yard penalties. The thing that we got to talk with Chris Jackson to, and we spoke to him a little bit today about it. Um, when, when you're in a position like that and a guy falls down, um, cause we thought Chris had great position when he was going and double pressing with Nick Westbrook. Uh, there, there's a time that we just got to end up getting our hands off a guy. And if he falls down, he falls down. Um, but we'll, we'll continue to work with those guys, but we obviously, Paul, we don't, we don't want penalties on special teams. That's we're losing 20 yards, at least a field position. Every time we get a penalty, um, you know, whether it's a 15 yard penalty or a 10 yard holding on punt return, we're going to lose a lot of yardage when we do that. Cause we feel like even on our punt return game, Chester end up having a 24 yard return. 
but we lost more than 20 yards of fuel position. So um, we want to be aggressive without fouling. That's that's going to be the continue to be our motto here uh, during the playoffs. Uh, David Butler. Greg, how much did the stability Randy Bullock brought at kicker sort of help you and that you're not having to look at film of guys every couple of weeks or, you know, work out guys on Tuesdays, all that, and, and allow you to sort of do other aspects of your job? Yeah, obviously it's big, um, you know, just going back to when we had Ryan early on when I was here, uh, you didn't really have to worry about that phase um, because you trusted the guy and the guy would get his job done. Um, and, and Randy has brought some stability to that and has done a great job. Obviously, uh, James uh, did a good job with Randy, too. But the thing that I loved about Randy when he first got here um, at the beginning is he obviously wasn't the first pick early on, but uh, he came out there and did a heck of a job. You know, when we gave the job to Badgley uh, the very first game, Randy was in my office basically asking me, why not me? And I just I loved it. I loved the demeanor with him. And, you know, we, we knew he was going to be ready to kick. And when he got the opportunity, he's done a real nice job for us. Uh, Jim. And Craig, I asked Todd and Shane this as well, but when you don't know who you're going to play, I know you're working on yourself a good part of the week, but how much can you do as far as prep work and an opponent uh, to be named um, it, with so many possibilities? Yeah, I mean, it was good because my youngest son asked me, like, Dad, you got a bye week, you're going to be home more, uh, <laughs> which which Coach Rabel is awesome, and he gives us some time off with our families, which is great. But we still got to prepare, like – you know, we're in a regular week um, where we don't have any idea who our team is. So we've got to set out some time for certain teams, whether it be Cincinnati, the Raiders, um, the Patriots, all, all those different, the Steelers, all those different types of things. So we got our guys working on certain types of things here right now. But the, our main focus this week is getting better ourselves. All right. And awesome. I may throw it. Can I throw in one on Zach Cunningham? He, he made a nice play on special teams yeah. on Sunday. And, and, and how has he maybe uh, – what's kind of stood out to, about him to you for his play on special teams? Yeah, sure, Jim. He, he's been great. Uh, you know, obviously a guy who's coming in from another team, uh, maybe not expecting to come in and play on special teams, uh, which I know this year he wasn't for Houston, but he had in the past. So we sat down and talked to him and asked him, like, listen, you know, you're going to come in here. We'd love you to play on punt team. And he's been such a professional saying, hey, I'll do anything to help the team win. Um, he's been a great, great addition for us, especially on our punt team, uh, going down there, making plays, communicating with the other guys. Um, you know, we're really happy with Zach playing on our punt team right now.